It's so fundamental. No drugs, no gangs, no juvenile delinquency, no dropouts, building self-esteem for the youngsters in our community. Every year we have about 450 to 500 inner city and urban youngsters. We provide the programs free of charge. We also have professional instructors involved. We provide nutrition at every program. We provide incentives to programs. We're trying to build self-esteem in these youngsters so that they will be the true good citizens of our community tomorrow. I'd like now to read what the uh, citation of the, uh, the award is going to be presented today. And this award is really fundamental as uh, the Major said. Here we are, we had Sergeant John Martin Sr. in the beginning. And now we have the Mahali and Muhammad Ali Center. And so this award is a collaboration. And the award reads, Muhammad Ali, Police Activities League Sergeant Joe Martin Sr. Citizenship Award. In recognition of your youthful awareness and activities that personify Muhammad Ali's six core values of respect, confidence, convictions, dedication, spirituality, and giving, with the embracing of all peoples, and reflecting the spirit of goodwill that exemplifies the Police Activities League's sponsorship of education, enrichment, and recreation programs for youth throughout our community. This will be the first annual Sergeant Joe Martin Senior Pal Muhammad Ali Award. We're going to start it in perpetuity starting this year. The first recipient, his family comes from Jerusalem. She claims she openly lives her values and has friends of different faiths, interests, and economic backgrounds. She believes a person does best when not working alone and has shown numerous leadership roles. As a high school senior, she wrote an essay, This I Believe. She emphasized her individuality to quote, self-expression is how we express ourselves in our unique way. I am who I am. I am so strong in my individuality. I have my own style and personality. When one becomes a leader, they show the way, a path for others to follow, and follow that leader to become comfortable with who they are and what they do. They become secure with themselves and have no desire to hide, unquote. The recipient is Nicole Solomon of Assumption High School. This council states, his positive nature and generous character is one that is a model for his peer group. He personifies the qualities of the six values which are the cornerstone of the Muhammad Ali philosophy. His leadership skills as a freshman class president resulted in his election to that role through his four years at Butler Traditional High School. He has assisted incoming freshmen at school, is active with over 200 hours of community service throughout his Charlie Baptist Church, is passionate with helping people who are living in poor and impoverished areas, and uh, he's built educational facilities in Brazil, and uh, has raised funds for low-income families. And he states, some of the greatest times of my life I can relate directly to giving and the recipient for Butler Traditional High School is Kenneth Colson. Congratulations. As I mentioned, this is the first annual PAL Award. Uh, next 
year there will be an expansion of this. We're going to have more uh, broader and universal recipients, and we're really proud to be a part of the opening of the Muhammad Ali Center. Thank you so much. As Ms. Bond said earlier in our program, this would not have happened. This incredible day, this unbelievable experience of opening the Muhammad Ali Center wouldn't have happened with a lot, a lot of help, particularly from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I think that the governor may be spending the weekend with us, and he probably ought to do that a good deal more often, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the First Lady of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the governor of our, of our state. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Ernie Fletcher and his wife, Glenn. Please give them a warm welcome. Thanks very much. Glenn and I are very honored and pleased to be here. We had a wonderful time last night. I don't know how many to thank you. I don't know how many of you got to the uh, festivities last night, but it was such a dedication to Muhammad and Mom that uh, it was just an outstanding program. Distinguished guests, visitors, those of you who may not have actually seen Muhammad fight, the young folks that may have not actually seen him, and those of you who can remember those wonderful fights, whether it was the rumble in the jungle or the thrill in Manila, we all know that he had an impact on us, our life, on our nation, our commonwealth, and not only that, but on the world. What will this center mean for Kentucky? It will mean that folks from all over the world will have the opportunity to come right here in Louisville, Kentucky to see this beautiful facility. And not only to see the beautiful building, but to look inside and to see what made this man great. The values that he held, the confidence that he held. Him holding that faith and that God-given ability and the confidence in himself. We also are amazed at what can happen with an event that might seem like a setback. Who would have thought in 1954 a stolen bike would lead to all that Muhammad Ali is and all that he has given to the world? We are proud. We are proud that he and those that have worked to organize this center brought this back to Kentucky. We want to say thanks to the General Assembly, to Governor Patton, and the money that they placed, the confidence they placed in the Ali Center. We know this will continue to attract those who, like Ali, believe in that unbridled spirit of Kentucky. I got the opportunity to meet Muhammad Ali a few years ago when I served in Congress. And it was clear that time and age had taken its toll. And though time and age may have slowed Ali's hands, the power of his punch will live on here in Louisville and will help build the confidence and drive the dreams of generations who visit this place. Thank you all very much. What is the dream come true? Lots of folks have dreamt about this day for a very long time. Every single one of you have been a part of making this dream come true. So let me say that we're thrilled to death that you're here. And I know you're glad that all your friends are here with you. This is the time we presented Muhammad Ali Center 16th. It's time to actually dedicate the center. It's my pleasure now to uh, welcome a member of the Muhammad Ali Center Advisory Board who's as excited about this as you and I. You spotted him on NBC and HBO. Bob was as thrilled as you would be when Ali lit the torch and to light and start the Atlanta Olympics. Please, will you give a warm welcome to national sportscaster Bob Costas. Thank you, Wayne, and thank you, folks. And as, as Wayne mentioned, uh, I was lucky enough to be hosting the Olympics in 1996 when one of the great moments I've ever witnessed took place. Muhammad Ali took that torch from the Olympic swimmer Janet Evans 